up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the top three things recruits struggle with at Army Base and Training. At the top of my list, in my most humbling opinion, I feel that homesickness is the biggest struggle for recruits at basic training. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my personal insights and tips on how to deal with and to cope with homesickness. And it starts right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Team Swartz. My name is Sergeant First Class Swartz, your local New York Army National Guard recruiter located conveniently in Midtown Manhattan across the street from Baruch College. And if you are looking to learn more on how to mentally and physically prepare for Army basic training and to learn more about the Army or the Army National Guard as a whole, you can start now by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss anything. Welcome to another installment in the basic training survival tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about homesickness. For many of you, this is going to be the first time that you're not only away from your family, but away from your family for an extended period of time. Many of you are super close and have a tight-knit, close bond with your family and your children. Missing your family and focusing all your attention and energy into how much you miss your family or your children can push and lead you into a depressed state of mind. Drill sergeants are there to transition you, to coach, teach, and mentor you and transition you from being a civilian into a soldier. One thing that drill sergeants hate and despise about recruits at Army Basic Training is those who dwell and focus on how much they miss their family and complain about how homesick they are and they want to talk to their family and use their phone to talk to their kids. Why? Because it detracts you from the training, the skill sets, the drill Drill sergeants are trying to instill and teach to you. So drill sergeants hate it when recruits are homesick. One way that you can cope with homesickness is at times when you earn the privilege, you're going to have the ability and be afforded the opportunity to call home. Now, everyone's experience is going to vary. Not every training site do things the same, but you will have at minimum two phone calls, one in the beginning and one at the end. Calling home is a double-edged sword. If you finally, let's say you're at training, you're extremely homesick and you started to not dwell on it, not focus on it and all that great stuff and you're feeling a little bit better, now they give you that opportunity to call home and calling home is going to satisfy you in a moment but it's going to stir up a bunch of emotions that you've compacted up until that point. While you were coping with it and you were okay, now that you've called home, it musters up a lot of homesickness, a lot of thoughts about how much you miss your family and now you're going back to square one where you're depressed, sad and want to talk to your family because you miss them so much. But you will from time to time, if you think that it will help you, you will have phone privileges at some point anywhere from a couple minutes, upwards to 30 minutes, depending on your drill sergeants and how well you guys perform in training. In my opinion, it's best not to even call home if you possibly can, so that way you can stay focused at the training site and not have to worry about how much you miss them, what's going on, and let's say something less than good at home, and then you hear about it, now you're at basic training, and now you're worried and stressed the hell out that something is wrong at home that they can't handle, but they expressed it to you just because of conversation, and now you're stressed about it. And now they're stressed because now they hear that you're super sad and that you miss them and that you want to be there with them, and now you want to leave training because you want to go home to handle whatever's at home. So that's how it can be counterproductive when you call home. In my opinion, what I suggest is that in your wallet, you take one to maybe three photos of your family and your children and you put them into your wallet. I suggest that you laminate the photos to prevent them from getting ruined because you are going to get wet. You are going to get soaked. It's going to be raining. It's going to be snowing. You're going to be sweating. You're going to be going through puddles. So I suggest that you laminate your photos. And like I said, one to three tasteful photos, nothing of nudity, nothing that's you know half naked regular photos folks okay because if the Joe Stearns find something that's inappropriate they will just don't do it okay because you just don't want to find yourself in that situation okay I'm just telling you right now don't embarrass yourself I highly suggest that you bring envelopes stamps a notepad so that you could be able to write home and I highly suggest that you write down the addresses to everyone in which you want to send a letter to on the inside of your notepad because you're not gonna have access to your cell phone to be able to get those addresses that you wrote down in your note. So when you send letters at home, they're gonna write you back. And hopefully, if you if you really, really want them to write letters 
every day that they write you every single day. When you get mail call, you'll get multiple letters and you can find out how everyone's doing and you can write home. So that's called mail call. It's such a great feeling while you're in basic training, you're miserable, maybe you're having a bad day and next thing you know, Joe Sarn calls out your name, Private Swartz. And then you're like, oh, oh, here Joe Sarn, here Joe Sarn. It's a great feeling when you're in basic training and you get a letter. Receiving letters at basic training helps you keep your sanity. It's just something about it. I always look forward to mail call and it really sucks that when mail call is called and you don't get letters and there's always that one recruit that's like always getting letters every freaking time there's mail call. So personal time is generally from 20 hundred hours or eight o'clock at night to nine o'clock at night, which is 2100 hours uh, and then lights out at 2100. And by then I'm telling you right now, you're so tired, you, you're gonna wanna go to sleep. So make sure you maximize that time in that hour from eight to nine to write letters, read letters, Letters, get your mind right. So the biggest way that you can help put your homesickness at bay is to seriously not focus on how much you miss your family. Don't dwell on it. Don't focus on it. Don't put a lot of energy into it. You want to focus on the task at hand. Whatever Joe Sarns have you doing, because trust me, your schedule is going to be jam-packed. And if you're not doing anything, you're ripping out your smart book, your blue book, whatever, and that's what you're going to be reading. And most importantly, remember your why. Why did you join the Army? Why did you join the service? I'm sure that someone at home is counting on you and betting on you that you're going to do the right thing and that you're going to kick ass and you're going to come home and be a soldier. Earning the title of a soldier. I mean, that's huge. So embrace training, remember your why, and do your best. Think of it this way. This is my last tip. Think of graduation, how proud you're going to feel and how awesome it's gonna feel when you see your family watching you walk across, marching up to the graduation ceremony, standing tall, looking sharp in your uniform. You just have to survive these next 10 weeks of basic training. Because yes, in basic training, you're not gonna have phone privileges every day. You're going to miss your family, you're gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna be completely out of your element, you're going to be dealing with different cultures, different personalities, being stuck in a can like a sardine with a bunch of people that you don't want to be with. you got to embrace the suck. You're there to earn the title of a soldier. So embrace the training, do your best, have fun, and before you know it, graduation will be upon you. AIT is a lot better. Why? Because personal time is every night, Monday through Friday, after 1800, weekends off, and you will have access to your cell phone. You can video chat at home, you can video chat on the weekends, and eventually you'll get off post passes, and if you're lucky, maybe it may, may or may not work out, but sometimes family can come and visit you on the weekend, but keep in mind that all the way up until Friday, maybe even Saturday morning, if you piss off your drill sergeant, they could revoke your pass and your family who traveled to the hotel nearby the base may be asked out of luck. If you've been watching this and you have been to basic training and you felt homesick, I want you to comment below your tip and share with us how you dealt with being homesick. And if you want to learn more about Army basic training and how to prepare mentally and physically for basic training, so you can start now by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell icon so you can stay in the know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tip and these insights about how to deal with homesickness. And if you're in New York City and you're looking to learn more and maybe possibly join the New York Army National Guard, I am New York City. Down below will be my email. Shoot me an email. We'll set up a meeting with no obligation to join. And I'll see you in the next video.